Ooh, fan mail. I got two letters today, twice as many as yesterday. MIB, stop talking about buy.jp. You know, that website where you can shop Japanese stores and bid on Japanese auctions and get cool exclusive stuff at great prices. You talk about it too much. Huh. All right, well, letter number two. MIB, where do you get all your cool stuff? Your Zone Fighter stuff, those plushies, those books, everything. Absolutely real talk. For every one person who pokes at me for talking about Bayou so much, there are 20 people asking how I get this stuff. <laughs> Just check out the link in my description. Now look, starting a Bayou account isn't free, because you get paid to start a Bayou account. Yeah, you get 2,000 yen of free shopping money when you sign up with my link. So look, grab the free cash. That alone helps this channel. You should window shot. Maybe you'll see something you love. Enjoy the video. Did you subscribe? It helps when you subscribe. Please subscribe. Enjoy the video. Flight time! Yay! Godzilla Kong The New Empire is the latest MonsterVerse movie coming real soon to theaters. I feel like I've opened with that line for 12 videos in a row now. When's this movie gonna get here? As a cross-promotion, Cinemark Theatres are offering Godzilla Kong souvenirs, and I thought it'd be fun to see what they've got. Unfortunately, there are zero Cinemark Theatres where I live. But luckily, my pal Matt Frank hooked me up, so that I could do this video. Thanks to Matt, and also the Cinemark Stonehill Town Center in Pflugerville, Texas, just outside of Austin. Now let's dive in. We start with a round of plushies, Godzilla, Kong, and Suko. And one of these three doesn't look happy to be here. They all have this tag with the film logo and the MonsterVerse logo. And on the back, you got the price. They are $12.50 each. Godzilla's really cool. They gave him a skin texture, which none of my current Godzilla plushies have. And when I turn him, you can see that this is the evolved form where he went all pank, a very shimmery, shiny pank. That's another nice extra step they took to make this guy stand out. Look at those big orange eyes. I like that this Godzilla looks kinda happy. Yeah, this is a cool plush. It doesn't feel like some cheapo carnival prize, it's quality. For a sense of scale, here he is against some other plushies, the Gimme Swag MIB, a Godzilla from Funny, and a little band Presto guy. This guy's tilting his head like he's trying to get into the shot. Kong's a little quanky. He's a little quanky. Meh. Ah, the chest scars. This is Kong. So he's another good quality one. He's got hair. It's the kind you can write on with your finger. K for Kong. The only con about Kong is that he can't stand at all on his own. It's just impossible. And he's the only one of the three like this. You're right. I can't stand. I can't stand you. I can't stand your channel. I can't stand all of you guys watching. So you're all gonna take a good hard look at that ass. Suko's in a sitting position, and it's the same deal as Kong. Good quality fur. He's not old enough for his chest plate with pecs and abs, though. He's got his big green eyes and that scar over his eye. Maybe it'll move like Kylo Ren's did. Suko is a fine plushie. Do you think this character will be a thing? Time will tell. Kong's the angry dad posing with his little toddler. You see it too. Kong clickbait Suko and a Funko Pops Godzilla to give you a sense of scale. There's a Godzilla Kong cup that's 750. Jesus, they better be filling it with crude oil for that price. This is a 130 ounce popcorn tin that's $15 and it is tin, so it does have some feeling of value. We got Godzilla, a logo, Kong, Scar King, logo, and Shimo. Shimo is voiced by Eartha Kit. I will not elaborate. From the top, it's shaped like a hexagon, but it's a smushed hexagon. It's more diamonded than rounded, if you know what I mean. Underneath is another logo and lots of dust already. It's a cool popcorn bucket, but not as cool as Evangelion Kiru's head over here, but then again, so few things are. This would actually work well as like a small waste basket. Like, that's where my mind keeps going when I look at this. You put your laundry lint or your bathroom trash in here. But there is another popcorn holder. This is also tin, but these hold 150 ounces each. There are three of these made to look like Monarch containment units. The top has this lid that pops off, of course, and there's a better view of the Godzilla art. And here's Kong. And here's Scar King. And the Monarch logo is on the floor at the bottom. Each monster even has its own numerical designation. 
The fronts have a little bit of stats. I didn't realize that Skarking was so short. He's got the Whiplash. Kong's got a bio-enhanced arm, so there. Godzilla only needs his heat ray, you wussies. Oh, my dog wants you to know that if you shine a light inside, you get a really cool effect. That looks awesome. Thanks, Andy. High five. It's unfortunate that the lids don't have, like, a small LED light attached, because I think some people are gonna miss this. Each monster really pops with some light, and it really sells this containment unit effect. I think I'm gonna have to modify these. And this leaves the Drink Buddies, where all three monsters look like TV sets were smashed over their heads. Is this a thing? Are there other characters from other properties in this shape template? It feels like a thing. These are plastic cups, and they're $15 each. They have character designs on front. There's no design on the back. On top, you can remove this piece and fill them up with four loco, then close the top and pop a straw through the hole, so that it looks like you're drinking Godzilla's brains. By the way, these are not machine washable or microwavable. They're useless! Nah, they're cool. Here's another Cranky Kong. This time, he's wearing his bio extra affordable suit thing. I do like that the three cups are different colors. Godzilla is gray, Kong is yellow, and Scar King is vermilion red. What an ugly face. People are gonna see me drinking out of that face? Something about these compels me to stack them. I actually wish they were flat enough for perfect stacking. These are weird, but they're cool. I should also mention that some of these specific items are not exclusive to Cinemark. The Regal Store is also carrying some of these items, along with some shirts. Cinemark's got a few more things on their site store. These 44-ounce cups with Godzilla and Kong figure toppers. Another tin bucket, but this one's rounded. And a 24-ounce double-wall LED cup. They're also selling that funny Godzilla that's been around a while. And this two-poster set. And just for fun, let's look at the AMC online shop. They currently have the same funny, the double-wall LED light-up cup, the double posters. Oh, and this 180-ounce totem popcorn bucket for the low price of $26.99! I'm sure even more stuff's coming. I'm sure this video is going to be outdated in, like, five minutes. As always, check the description for corrections and updates. And let me know your thoughts on all this swag. Until next time. Dude, get out of the shot!